Well, hey everyone out there, thanks for choosing our short explanation of the kids' game, Spinderella. It's Chris here from JMNC Games, and today we are taking a look at this two to four player game where you are ants trying to race around the track and hopefully not get caught by the spiders, Peter, Parker, and Spinderella. Two to four players, like I said, ages six and up. Average game time is just about 45 minutes. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. We certainly do appreciate that, and it sure does help us grow. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box. There's the tree stump, three ants of each player color, the ant racetrack, the spider web, four trees, three dice, each with a different color. There are three spiders, Peter and Parker, who do not have a thread, and Spinderella, who has the thread and two magnets. To set up, first choose which ant racetrack you wish to use for the game. Place that side face up in the base of the box. Next, place the four trees in the corner of the box. Place the spider web on top of the trees. Take Peter and Parker and place them on top of the spider web and have them close together. Now take Spinderella and place her underneath the spider web and take her thread with the magnets. Attach one underneath Peter and the other underneath Parker. If this is done correctly, you can now slide Peter or Parker and it will control the movement of Spinderella. It will control her horizontal movement as well as her vertical. Now slide Peter and Parker to a red dot, but the two of them should be two dots apart from each other. Each player chooses a color and collects their ants. Place them on the starting arrow. Take the tree stump and place it anywhere on the ant racetrack. The dice should be near the board for all players to be able to reach. Choose a player to go first, and play will go clockwise around the board. On a player's turn, roll the dice. First, you check the green die to see if you've rolled an ant or a spider. If you've rolled a spider, it means you will be moving the spiders this turn. The black die will tell you how many spaces to move. You can move Peter and Parker however you wish for a total of the amount of the black die. The red dots count as the spaces for the spiders to move on. You are not allowed to just move back and forth. Be careful as they can never be more than two red dots distance between Peter and Parker. Failure to remember this can mean the magnets will come loose and Spinderella will come falling down. When moving the spiders, you are trying to do one of two things. Either move Spinderella away from your ants, or trying to get her to capture one of your opponent's ants. We'll talk more about what happens when she catches an ant in just a few moments. If you roll an ant on your turn, look at the brown die. Pick one of your ants and move it that many spaces along the racetrack. If your ant passes over the tree trunk or other ants, continue along as if they were normal spaces. If your ant lands on another ant or on the tree trunk, they land on top of them like this. They remain there until you decide to move them again. If you have an ant on top of you and you decide to move your ant, you would move the whole stack, giving the others a piggyback ride. If the tree bark already has two ants on top of it, another ant cannot be placed here. You would need to choose a different ant to move for that turn. If your roll doesn't provide you with an ant that you can legally move, then your turn is over, until the next roll. You must always move the ant the indicated number of spaces on the die. If they are unable to move that many spaces, then choose a different ant, or your turn will have to be passed by. 
The only exception to this is getting your ant to the finish line. You do not have to roll the exact amount. If you roll a leaf on your turn, it means you get to relocate the tree trunk to any space of your choosing. The trunk can be moved to any space that has zero up to two ants already on it. If your ant is covered by the tree trunk, you will not be able to move that ant until the tree trunk has been removed. In addition to being able to move the tree trunk, you may also choose if you wish to move one of your ants or the spiders. Whichever you choose, look at the appropriate colored die and move them according to the normal rules. You can also choose to make the move first and then place the trunk if you wish. If you are moving the trunk and there are ants already on top of it, they would ride the trunk to wherever the new location is. So let's look at what happens when Spinderella catches an ant. If you are moving the spider and you catch one of your opponents, you get to move one of your ants the number of spaces listed on the brown die. If you accidentally catch your own ant, no extra move. Remove the caught ant and return it back to the start. Before continuing, make sure that Peter and Parker are two red dots apart from each other. Once a player is able to get all three of their ants to the finish, they are the winner of the game. If multiple players get three ants across at the same time, they will share the victory. And so that's Spinderella. Thanks for joining us today. We sure hope you enjoyed our short presentation on Spinderella. And if you did, if you could take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel, we greatly do appreciate that. And it sure does help us grow. If you got any questions on Spinderella, please feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And now that we know the basics, let's play.